The race to get supplies to the hardest hit areas is on. Tonight, 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us in Pike County at the heart of the distribution center. As fast as donations are coming in to help victims in eastern Kentucky. I've talked to people from as far away as uh, Nashville, Sevierville, Tennessee, um, up in the northern part of West Virginia. Dozens of volunteers are working around the clock to get them out to the hardest hit areas of eastern Kentucky. Underneath this tent behind the Appalachian Wireless Arena are pallets filled with essential items such as water, cleaning supplies, hygiene items, and much more. Since the flooding happened less than a week ago, these crews are taking in the donations, taking calls of people who want to help, organizing, then the National Guard gets them to drop off sites so that people who've lost everything can have some of the things that they need. Some of these places that we're going, they don't have pallet jacks or, uh, or forklifts, so we're having to unload these, these cases by hand, and it's, it's a lot of work, but I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Even though these men and women are working through these hot and humid afternoons, the goal is still clear as day. We want the folks to be uh, taken care of. We're here to take care of our people. We're here to speak one voice. Reporting in Pike County, Lane Ball, 13 News. More supplies are on their way and people can pick them up at any of these locations in Pike County. The East Kentucky Dream Center, Connections Church, Shelby Valley Fire Department, Sycamore Fire Department, and Shelby Creek Rescue.